While tromping through the southeastern United States wetlands, you're likely to come across a snake or two. A general rule of dumb here is if the snake is near water, it's a venomous water moccasin, or cottonmouth. If it's not near water, it's a copperhead. The odds are the snake is non-venomous, but that doesn't make for as good a story. There are several species of non-venomous water snakes that inhabit the same wetlands as cottonmouths. I suppose these water snakes can look similar to cottonmouths if you're not a reptile geek. Can you tell if this snake is a water snake or a cottonmouth? What about this one? Or this one? You can't really use the diamond or triangle shaped head rule of dumb to identify venomous snakes. Water snakes, like many other snakes, will flatten their head into a triangle when threatened. Cottonmouths in their relaxed state have a triangle shaped head partly due to their venom gland organs storing all that sweet venom. Cottonmouths are related to the more colorful copperhead. Juvenile cottonmouths look very similar to copperheads, but their pattern tends to fade as they get older. Cottonmouths have elliptical pupils. Water snakes are round, not that you want to get that close. Cottonmouths often appear more buoyant when swimming with much of their back above the water surface. When water snakes swim, most of their body is submerged with just their head poking out. The telltale sign you've stumbled across a cottonmouth is one of three warnings it gives before it strikes. The first warning, the cottonmouth will ferociously open its jaws, which means stay away. The second warning, the cottonmouth will vigorously wiggle its tail in the weeds. This rustling noise means, I'm not joking. The third and final warning a cottonmouth gives before it strikes is a little more difficult to detect, but watch the fangs closely and you'll notice how they... Wait a second, I have the wrong notes. Here they are. The cottonmouth gives two distinct warnings before it strikes. <laughs> 